And in, during these five minutes, I want to share uh, some tips on how uh, publicly informa uh, accessible information can be used to find and detect the phishing sites and newly registered domains. So I believe most of you know about, know about uh, certificate transparency logs. So one source of information is that can be used is uh, CTL logs. All the uh, phishing sites which are being registered or used, they issue certificates and the uh, subject alternative names can be used to detect the phishing sites in the real time. This is lots of information and you can use that in the real time to detect uh, if someone is abusing uh, or, you know, using similar looking domains. Another thing is the HTTP refers. Some uh, fishers uh, serve the static contents from the legitimate sites. In this case, uh, Vinted has been used and the images were uh, referred from the, uh, the images uh, portal we used. And by using the HTTP referrer headers, it's possible to detect who's uh, abusing your domain or your site. So this is also pretty good uh, information source. You can check the web access logs and find if someone is serving static content from your infrastructure. Another thing is the canary tokens. You can implement those on your sites and if someone is like, you know, uh, trying to uh, mimic with your portal, you would receive the notification and you could respond really rapidly. And this is pretty cheap solution and it provides quite a lot of information. Another thing is the Murmur hash. So you can collate the Murmur hash for Favicon and uh, use the Shodan, Census and similar services to check if someone is uh, using your Favicon somewhere around the internet. Fuzzy hash. Originally it has been developed for the malware analysis but it's possible to also use it for the phishing detection. So you can download the HTML or document object model, calculate the uh, SSD hash for the legitimate site same for the, uh, let's say, uh, suspicious site. By comparing those two hashes, you can find the similarities and that information can be used to detect if there's someone abusing your uh, legitimate portal. Also, uh, serving such information like SSD hashes, uh, phishing URLs and uh, uh, brands in a GraphDB, like now 4J allows uh, uh, capability to detect the uh, correlations between the domains and uh, possibility to detect the phishing campaigns. So this is also pretty useful information to start and find the similarities, to find the bigger uh, groups which mimic your or spoof your domain. Uh, for visualizations, the open source uh, tool called Heavy can be used and it provides quite useful information. Another thing is the so-called DNS twist. So this is more like uh, being proactive and uh, twisting domains by lots of different methodologies. You can be really proactive and uh, DNS twist is a uh, open source tool. This allows to detect if the, the domain, similar looking domain uh, has been registered by checking the start of authority. So you can be really proactive and to find the domains which mimic your brand or similarly. That's it. Thank you.